go tell everybody about my invention. Is the Wildcat Science Workshop like any other science class or is it different? Nah, it's way cooler. Instead of just sitting there and reading the paper and writing the stuff on the page, all that questions, which is really boring. We're always messing around and zapping each other. Then you touch the two metal plates and you press the switch and the electricity will flow through the battery and go through this. And this somehow makes the electricity even more. I'm not sure how, but it does. And then that goes through here and zaps you. Wow. Thanks, Wayne. Oh, wow. Do you like Nicole? Yes. Liar. Why are you shocking me? Um, I'm learning about what you, how what the temperature is like to certain metals to weld with. Um, how big a hole should be, and different type, types of screws, and um, how to build a birdhouse. Like someone is building a birdhouse. One kid built a skate ramp, and he had to do the angles, how it worked. And it was really awesome. You're doing an excellent job in the science workshop. How come you're not like this in the classroom? Because there's never really that much hands-on things in the classroom. Technically, oh. all you guys ever make us do is write. Confidential. Caesar, come on. What is this thing? Something. How did you make it? Jigsaw, spray paint, had help from Jocelyn. What do you do at the Wildcat Science Workshop? Well, I do a lot of things, but my favorite thing to do is uh, well. Because I could uh, build a lot of stuff, and I just got done with a, a birdhouse, and I think um, now I'm really like a, a pro at like working the tools. And I never thought I would do that, but I guess I do here. I never knew how to use a drill. I was always afraid to use one. But then on the first day of Wildcat Workshop, Kip taught me how to do it. And I, uh, I've been using them like ever since, like the first day. Cool. So now I escape my fear. I think it would be a very good idea about um, having a workshop in, in my neighborhood because there is people that are interested in science and they mostly hate me and they mostly throw firecrackers or shoot BB guns or have firecrackers and BB guns in the same thing at the same place, trying to blow me up in the same place on my bike. And I think they have really want to learn how to get better at it. And I think it would be a good, a great idea if we had a science workshop in my neighborhood. So, Bethany. Yeah? You're a girl. Mm -hmm. And you're using power tools. Yeah. What would you say to people who thought that was a strange idea? Uh that they're wrong because it's fun and anyone can use them. Not just boys? Yeah, because actually Kip thinks the girls are better at using scroll saws and other stuff that like shape wood than the boys. Is, why is that? Because the girls are like more patient and the guys get mad easily. Do you ever teach the guys how to use the tools? Uh, yeah, I've actually taught two. Who did you teach? Emilio and Rudy. Rudy? Is Rudy here today? Can I actually see him use the scroll saw so I can determine how good your teaching was? Mm -hmm. Thanks. Rudy, what are you making? A huge pencil! Hey, Joseph, I have a question for you. Huh? I saw that you were welding over here by yourself in the corner. Why didn't you ask for permission to use the welder? Ah! Joseph was welding by himself? Because they trust me. With Joseph's experience, he's been taught and we've taught him all the rules of safety. And he's wearing gloves. He's wearing a hood, he's wearing a, a flame boot shirt, and uh, he's been scrupulously trained in safety. So who taught him? I taught him initially, and then Jeremy, I taught Jeremy, and then Jeremy taught him, and Jeremy's sort of the king mode. The metal, it gets shorter, and that's how wide you can go quickly really in, and you have to really speed up like that. Just take your time and just try doing that, right? Um, it does happen very often at the science workshop because it's a place where people, uh, where kids who have knowledge about one tool can pass it on to another kid. So that way, it's like a chain reaction. So that way, another person knows it, and then another person knows it, and then another person, and then it keeps going on and on forever. Two questions: A, what have you taught someone to use, and what has someone taught you to use? Um, 
the first question ought to be I taught a person how to weld um, it's using a, a hydrogen tank and a heater and what a, what a person ta taught me how to use was a scroll saw um, it's a saw where you bring where it's a it's a dual saw blade that rotates in a circle and you bring it down to cut wood. When you go to a playground to play on the jungle gyms or on a slide or even you go to a basketball court to play basketball, um, there isn't much structure. It's sort of created by you and you drive what happens there. Around the science workshop, the kids get to decide what they do and no one is breathing down their neck asking them for a full report of what it is they're doing. So it's all very free and easy, um, and that's the way we like to keep it. Like in New York, here. Oh, God. <laughs>